This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I apply multiple nano meshes to the same poly? So to start off, I have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a cylinder object here loaded in. And the question is asking about using nano meshes and applying multiple nano meshes to the same polygons. So how can you go by doing that? So before I go into that process, I first just want to go through the steps of creating a nano mesh brush. So here I just have this file loaded in, and this has a few basic primitives. So I have a cylinder shape, a cone shape, a sphere shape, and a cube. So with all these subtools here, I first need to create a insert mesh brush. And after that insert mesh brush is created, you can then turn that into a nano mesh brush. So first I'm going to just make sure all these are on. So I'm just going to turn my visibility on like so. And then I'm just going to position them in an angle and just make sure I have perspective off. And now I'm going to go up to the brush palette up here and I'm just going to do a create insert multi mesh. So if you have multiple subtools, if you use create insert multi mesh, it'll look at all those subtools and create a new insert mesh brush that will contain all those subtools as separate parts. If you just use create insert mesh, it's only going to use the subtool that you have selected. So since I have four of these primitive shapes here, I'm going to click create insert multi mesh. And when you click this, you should now have a new insert mesh brush. If you press M on your keyboard, you'll see these are the parts that live inside that brush. So now after we have an insert mesh brush created, we can now turn this into a nano mesh brush. Now any insert mesh brush can be converted to a nano mesh brush. To do this process, just come into the brush palette up here and then simply click Create Nano Mesh Brush. This will take that insert mesh brush and now convert it to a nano mesh brush. And now by default, you will get this new Z Modeler brush created over here. So the nano mesh option or nano mesh functionality lives inside a Z Modeler brush. So by taking an insert mesh brush and clicking Create Nano Mesh Brush, you're going to create a new Z Modeler brush with all those insert mesh parts contained in it so it can be used as a nano mesh brush. So now I'm gonna to navigate to the tool palette over here and I'm just gonna find the plain 3D primitive. So I'm just gonna click on one of these tools over here and open this up and then I'm gonna select plain 3D. And then with this loaded, I'm just gonna turn on polyframes and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, the initialize tab here and open this. And I'm just gonna change my divides here. So I'm gonna change this to maybe six by six. So now I just have a plain object that looks like this. After I'm happy with the initialized changes and come back to the top here, and I'm gonna click Make Poly Mesh 3D. So this is gonna convert that 3D primitive into a poly mesh, and now it's gonna allow me to use the Z Modeler brush and that nano mesh functionality. So by default, after you've created this brush, if you have over poly here, you'll see you should have a insert nano mesh, a poly action selected. If you press spacebar, you can select this as well. So you can go to the polygon actions, select insert nano mesh, and then you have the ability to set a specific target if you like. So I'm just gonna hover over one of these polys here and just draw this out. And you'll see this is just going to draw out a cube. So if you press M on your keyboard, you can determine which shape you want this to be drawn out as a nano mesh. So if I go to the cone here, I can draw that one out. If I press M and I go to the sphere, I can draw that one out. If I press M and then go to the cylinder, I can draw that one out. So as you'll notice, each of these objects or nano meshes that I've inserted onto these polygons all have a different polygroup associated with them. So what this means is that anywhere there is this polygroup color, a sphere would appear. Anywhere there is this polygroup color, a cube would appear. And anywhere where there is this polygroup color, a cone would appear. So nano mesh is looking at the polygrouping on your model and that is determining which nano mesh will be applied to those areas. So I'm just gonna undo this quick with Control Z. So let's say I want to take that cylinder nano mesh and I wanna apply it to the entire plain 3D object. So to do this, I can just click on one of these polys here and drag it out like I was doing originally. And then while I'm dragging it out, I can hold down Shift. And when you hold down Shift, this is going to use the existing poly group that's already on that surface. So it's looking at now the polygroup that was there originally instead of establishing a new one. And since that polygroup was across the entire plain 3D object, it will now put a cylinder object on every single poly of that mesh. So you can see now I have a cylinder across all these polygons. Now after I have this done, I go to the tool palette and I can open up this nano mesh tab here. And in here I can control how that cylinder shape is being affected. So I can change its size, I can change its rotations, and I can just change any of these properties in the nano mesh tab here. 
So now let's say I have these cylinders filling this entire polygroup here, but I want to add another layer of nano mesh on top of this. So if I press M on my keyboard here, let's select the cone nano mesh here. So let's say I want to add the cone to all these polygons as well. So if you just click and drag on this like normal, you see it's going to just add that cone and it's going to replace the polygroup, that green polygroup there. And so I'm no longer going to have a cylinder. So I want to have a cone and a cylinder. So to do this, you just need to drag out again and then hold down shift. And once again, shift is going to use the polygroup that's already there. So it's just going to add that cone now as a separate nanomax index to the entire green polygroup. And since that green polygroup fills the entire plane 3D, you can see I have a cone on every single one of those polygroups. And now that I've added this cone, you'll see over here this index option has now been active in the nano mesh tab. So now I have two indexes. So I can use this arrow here to go to the previous or the go to the next. And the first one here will be those cylinders. And then my second index is now their cones. So now I have two sets of nano mesh that are stacked on the same polygons, but as different indexes. So let's say I want to add a third one now. So I can press M on my keyboard again. I'm now going to select the sphere 3D object here. I'm going to drag that out and then hold shift to get that same effect. And now I've added a sphere to the mix. So I've got a new index, which is the sphere. And then one more, let's just add that last one. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard again. I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to drag this out again and hold down shift. And now I've added the cube to that area as well. So now I have four nano meshes being applied to those same polygons. And you'll see here I have four nano mesh indexes. So now I can come through and say adjust these all separately. And I can do anything in the nano mesh panel here. So one thing that's pretty cool is the random distribution. So I can start randomizing these. So I can take this cylinder and randomize that sum. I can go to the second index, which is the cone, and randomize those a little bit. Go to the third index, which is the spheres, randomize those, and then go to the fourth index, which is the cubes, and randomize those as well. So you can see with this functionality, I now have these nano meshes being layered on top of each other. And each of these indexes are independent. So I can change the size of them and you know the rotations. I can even set different variables over here for the rotation and offsets. And you can do these on any of these indexes. So this is the way to go through and add a bunch of layered nano meshes on top of a model. So this is handy for creating even greater results with your nano meshes, and you're gonna be able to do this across multiple polygons. Now, one final thing with the nano mesh is that after you have it generated, you can change the surface in which it's applied to. So if I say come through and select the move brush by hitting B on my keyboard, isolating by the letter M and then clicking the letter V, I now have the move brush selected. And I can come through and I can distort the underlying topology here, so that plane object, and you'll see that those nano meshes are gonna go with it. So this is really handy for creating train, rubble, all sorts of different things. So that process again is just as you're drawing out a new nano mesh onto the surface of a model that may already have a nano mesh on that polygon, just hold down shift, and that will add that nano mesh to the same polygroup that's on your mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.